Hi friends. So in this video, we are gonna see a problem based on partial derivative using Jacobians. So here the value of x, y and z is given in terms of u, v and w and the question is show that dou u by dou x is equal to vw upon u minus v into u minus w. Now friends if I try to use the definition of partial differentiation then to find dou u by dou x we would require u in terms of x so that we can find out dou u by dou x but if you'll observe here then there is no u given in terms of x but if you'll observe here then u is not given in terms of x rather x y and z are given in terms of u v and w so to find dou u by dou x is quite difficult since we don't have the value of u. So here we'll make use of partial derivative using Jacobians so that we'll get the value of dou u by dou x. So here we'll make use of partial derivative using Jacobians so that we'll get the value of dou u by dou x even if u is not given in terms of x. So to find dou u by dou x by using Jacobians, the formula is minus of dou f1, f2, f3 with respect to x, v, w and dou of f1, f2, f3 with respect to u, v and w. So we are going to use make of this formula to find out the value of dou u by dou x. <clears throat> now before going further I will give this equation as equation number 1. So to get the value of dou u by dou x I first need to find out Jacobian of f1, f2, f3 with respect to x, v, w and then the value of Jacobian of f1, f2, f3 with respect to u, v, w. So let's start. So therefore, Jacobian of f1, f2, f3 with respect to u, v, w is given by the determinant that is dou f1 So this is the formula. Now let's find the value of each and every partial differentiation. So what is dou f1 by dou u? So to find this we want value of f1. Similarly to find the second row we want value of f2 and to find the third row we want value of f3. So first of all I'll find the value of f1, f2 and f3. Now we have the condition x equal to u plus v plus w. So I can write down this as u plus v plus w minus x is equal to 0. And I can say this is my f1. So f1 is nothing but implicit function of u, v and w. So here u, v and w are implicit function of x, y and z. Hence we got f1. Similarly, I'll find f2 from the second condition and f3 from this third condition. So f2 is nothing but So I got these three equations one for f1, one for f2 and one for f3. Now I'll partially differentiate them to get the value of first Jacobian. So here we'll get the value as dou f1 by dou u. So I'll partial differentiate this with respect to u, I'll get 1. After partial differentiating with respect to v, we will get 1 and with w, we'll again get 1. Similarly, by differentiating f2 with respect to u, we'll get Now 
let's solve this determinant to get the value so instead of solving it directly we will use some properties of determinant to minimize the determinant so that we'll get the values very easily and to minimize the determinant and to minimize this determinant i'll try to bring zero at these two positions so to bring zero at this position i'll use one operation that is c3 minus c1 and to bring the zero at this position i'll use the operation c2 minus c1 and let's see what we get so here in the last column we'll get 1 minus 1 that is 0 here we'll get 2w minus 2u that is 2 times w minus u here we'll get 3 times w square minus u square similarly by doing c2 minus c1 we will get here 0 here we'll get 2 times v minus u and here we'll get 3 times v square minus u square and this first column will remain as it is so now we'll take the common terms outside the determinant so if you'll see the second column then here at this position i can apply the formula v minus u into v plus u and then if you will see the second column then we can take v minus u common and i'll take it outside the determinant similarly from here i can take w minus u outside the bracket so i'll get v minus u outside w minus u outside and inside the determinant we'll get 1 0 0 then 2 2 here 3 times v plus u and 3 times w plus u now similarly if you'll see the first column then from the first column no and first column will remain as it is so it is 2u and 3u square now we can also take 2 common from the second row and 3 common from the third row so 2 3 is a 6 will get 6 times v minus u w minus u inside the determinant 1 0 0 u 1 1 u square v plus u and w plus u now let's solve the determinant we'll get 6 times v minus u w minus u into this is u so here we'll get w plus u minus v minus u so from here we are getting 6 times v minus u w minus u and w minus v now if you'll see the proof then in proof we want u minus v and u minus w hence here i'll just exchange the terms so i'll make this u positive so hence i'll take minus n outside and this will become u minus v similarly to bring u minus w over here I'll again take one more minus n outside so it is positive outside and here I'll get u minus w and obviously w minus v will remain as it is. So this is the value that we got for Jacobian of f1, f2, f3 with respect to u, v and w and this will become my equation number 5. Now similarly I'll find the second Jacobian. So the formula for that is so the formula for that is do of f1 f2 f3 by do of x v w equal to determinant of so let's get the value of these terms 
So to get the first row, I'll partially differentiate f1 with respect to x, v and w. Now this is the function. So by after partially differentiating with respect to x, we'll get minus 1 here at the first position. With respect to v and w, we'll get 1 and 1. Similarly, by differentiating second function with respect to x, v and w, we will get 0 with respect to v, 2v and 2w and here we'll get 0 now let's solve the determinant so here by solving the determinant we will get minus 1 inside bracket the cross multiplication that is 6 v w square minus 6 w v square so this will give us 6 outside next we can take 1 v and 1 w outside and inside bracket from here we'll get w from here we'll get v and minus sign as it is outside so this is the value of second jacobian and i'll give this as equation number six now let's substitute equation number five and six in equation number one that is our question so this was the question that is to find the value of dou u by dou x so here in the numerator i will substitute it so here in the numerator i will substitute value of the equation number 6 and in the denominator I will substitute value of equation number 5. So we will get so now by cancelling 6 and 6 and v and w minus v w minus v we will get v w upon u minus v and u minus w and this is the required result thank you